morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, today we have a very special presentation. I'm going to present to you a business um, called Heft Mentoring. Now, the founder of Heft Mentoring is Valerika Dimitri, and he's going to be um, presenting to us his vision and his plan for his business. Um, and we're very fortunate to have with us today a guest who has been working with Dimitri, um, Valerika, I should say, I'm sorry. Um, for a little while and he's going to tell us a little bit about his experience in working with him. So if I may please invite Desmond Labez to come forward please. Hello Desmond, how are you? Welcome. So you've been working with Valerica for a little while, so tell me about how you met Valerica. Um, it was quite interesting because um, I had driven Valerica's uh, a close neighbour I had driven past his place on several occasions on, on my way to or from work and um, I saw him there and I thought, what an interesting guy, I'd like to, I'd like to meet him sometime. Mm -hmm. And um, as it happened, two years later after that thought, a friend was around, another neighbour was around at my place and he said, oh, I've got to go, I'm, I'm about to meet Valerica, who was his immediate neighbour. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'll oh, bring him around then, I've always wanted to meet him. So that, that was the beginning of a journey, and right. quite an amazing journey. And so how did you um, come to work with Valerica? Why did you start to work with there was, there was There was something that I knew that Valerica had um, that I wanted. It was knowledge that he had that, that I really wanted, and, and um, I found out, you know, as we went along, that it was the next step in my own evolution, in my own growth. So, yeah. and, and, and so, how long have you been working with him? I've been working with him for three months now, so. okay. and and within three months, my life has gone from um, one of depression, you know, one of one of Really looking, looking at the world and thinking, "Hey, what is there?" Um, but now, I'm, my world has just exploded, exploded enormously, and, and it is just uh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Would you, would you like to share with us a little bit about your story and the journey Certainly. so far? My pleasure. Thank you, my absolute pleasure. Thank you. Great. Um, as I said, Valerica and I met. Um, after a very fortunate um, coincidence, uh, whatever you'd like to call it, but, you know, it was one of, the, one of those one of those moments in time where um, the things that, that you've been I, well, I've been looking for in life started to it, it, the key was put in the door. You know, things just started to open from there, and. I'm a very spirit, a spiritual human being. Um, I sort of um, have a have a an intuitive way of knowing things. I, I've I've um, written about things that happen years later in my life, and, and the very the, the exact same words that I've used have. Um, come to fruition years down the track. And one of those moments is, is when I met Valerie, and I knew it would happen. It was, it was like me searching for my twin brother, um, and it turned up for me. And that's how I saw it. But the message that, that Valerie brought was a message that everyone needs. You know, and, and, and that, that message was a simple fact that I have within me the tools, the knowledge, um, everything within me to live a, um, to live a prosperous and, and a, a happy life. So um, the, beginning, the beginning was a little bit tentative. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 60 years old, and 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 I was pretty well set in my ways and set in, in my thinking, and, and um, I I was 
a bit taken aback with with um, Valerica to begin with, you know, sort of, who is this guy? Where, where's he coming from? Because he was so dynamic. Um, and in, in our journey together, we, we have learnt very much from each other about life and, and about, um, about people and, and those kinds of things. But, um, Valerica opened my eyes to what I'd been missing in my life and, and, and the simple fact was that that connection with love, that connection with the greatest thing that surrounds us all and is within us all and, and that's love and whatever we define as God. Um, and once I accepted that in my life, my life changed from that moment on. Um, it was just a matter of accepting that simple fact that love is real. Love is not the the the, the, um, the romantic notion, the, the, everything else that is attached to love. Love is pure in its in its own essence. Um, love is is the vehicle, uh, the ether. You know that 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 all things are transmitted through, and and we call we call that God. We call that so many different names um, and it, it's quite amazing that, that um, it all comes back to love and once I let love into my heart my world opened up and I was ready to receive the message that Valerica brought and in that in that time I have grown not just as a man but as a human being and as a spiritual being in leaps and bounds and uh, I, I spent I spent my last 44 years as an alcoholic. Um, I went into a rehab five years ago, uh, Logan House, um, and you know, for me, for me, life was about fear and loathing in Las Vegas. You know, I, I just absolutely loathed everything, loathed myself. But yet, I knew, knew deep down in myself that there was something, there was something, and I, I just couldn't grab hold of it. I was the longest serving resident at Logan House. I was there for nearly 12 months, um, in, and I was the longest serving resident they have in their history. And um, that's how bad I was when I went in there, that the, they made sure that I was ready to go when, when uh, the time came up. And then 12 months later I started working there, uh, one two nights a week, as uh, night staff and, and sort of counsellor. Um, yet, I still didn't feel satisfied. I, I was sober, I was clean, I, I, was, I was thinking well. Um, but I still wasn't satisfied with my life. Um, there was something missing. And um, one day I was playing Robin Hood down at the St. Vinnie's Bins in uh, Tanamara. And I was, I was filmed and it ended up on um, Today Tonight or, or one of those shows. You know, you know, people called me scum and all the rest of it. They didn't understand that, that, that I was getting this stuff and giving it to neighbours and, and, you know, underprivileged people. I wasn't selling it or doing anything like that. That's why I say I was playing Robin Hood. Um, and I lost my job at Logan House. I'm glad. I'm, I'm really, really glad that I lost my job because two months later I met Valerica. If, if I hadn't lost my job, the chances are I would never have met Valerica. So, so there was an opportunity that um, that arose, and and wow, that's all I can say is just wow. Um, the message, the message that, that Valerica brings, um, is a universal message, and and um, everybody can tap into the love and tap into the the the, um, the bounty that life has to offer once. You get the tools and get the get to open yourself up to life and see life as moving forward, you know, on the way, not in the way, as Valerie has often told me. You know, life's on the way, not in the way. And all I can say is, I'm 
one very grateful human being. I am so thankful that life has given me this opportunity and that I was awake enough to be able to take it after much resistance. So God bless all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jason. That was a very heartfelt um, journey that you shared with us. And so, wow, let's listen to the man himself. Let's bring um, Valerica forward to share with us more about what it is that he's offering in his business to people. Well, that was touching, that, that uh, kind of felt it right in my, in my plaques, as it were. Amazing things um, that happened in my life, all my life. Um, I realized the great thing, and probably, this is probably one of the, the statements that I usually tell myself every day. Um, <coughs> when the vision on the inside, it's louder and more profound than all the opinions on the outside, we have begun to master our life. We truly have the vitality that is directly opposite our vision. Instant gratification costs us every time. Vision pays us every time. How do we endure that? How do we get to actually, step by step, get to our vision? Well, first of all, it's a decision that has to be made. A want, as it were, as opposed to many opinions, wants are very, very good. So this is what I do. This is how I, I, I live my life. I live my life through other people. I live my life for other people. I have life that comes right back at me. I go by the universal law where you give in order to receive. And it is true. Whatever you saw, you share it. So if you ever saw ambivalence, ambiguity, jealousy, violence, whatever, you're not going to read kindness, understanding, collaboration, cooperation. So I based my entire life on, on, on this. I never worked for anybody. I don't want to stay in anybody's shadow.